All right, welcome to an episode in the React Foundation series. So this series is uh, available for free on YouTube to uh, support the community. Uh, if you want to be uh, support our channel, uh, be sure to check out our membership program. Uh, for $9 a month, you can become a member and support everything that we're doing here at Codemy. Uh, we also have open source projects, you know, like for example, this project here is going to have source code that you can check out on a per episode basis. So check that out as well. I'm going to have the links in the description below. All right, so let's get into the code. Uh, so in the previous episode, we worked with the event and we added an on click event in our button. And in this episode, what we're going to be doing is using component state uh, to uh, basically, um, you know, uh, change the state of the, the, the component so that it re React will re-render uh, the our components our component and then basically update the view so we can see the refresh without actually refreshing the page if that makes sense. Uh, so what we're going to be doing here is we're going to start off with what's called uh, a lifecycle function. So over here we have the component will mount and so what I've done here uh, is basically uh, you know use this function here. So this function is a, a function of React. Uh, so it's not something that I wrote myself. So if I have a lifecycle function in here, it's going to run once, basically right before the component actually mounts onto the page, it's going to run whatever is in here. Uh, so then in that case, what we're doing here is we're setting the state of the of a contacts, uh, you know, setting the data uh, using the actual component state. And now to be able to access that state, what we need to do is have this this.state.contacts. And so if I render this page now, uh, you're going to see that it's actually still working here. And that's because, you know, it's now instead of just you directly doing uh, data.map, we're now actually just using this.state.contacts, which is because we set this part here. That's why this works. All right, so in this episode, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be implement this add contact function so that when we click this button here, it actually adds a new contact into our page over here. So let's see how that's going to work. So first of all, what we need to do is um, you know store the existing uh, contacts, and what we're going to be doing is, is adding a new element into the array. So const contacts. So this contacts is not the same as um, you know the the contacts that's here. This is being accessed through the state part over here, as you can see, it's different. But this contacts is only going to be available in this function here. So what I'm going to do now is this dot state dot contacts. Uh, and then what I'm going to do is uh, we're going to set the state again. So this dot set state. So what, whenever you run set state, React is going to know that there's a change. And then, you, okay, so there's a change. Now we need to update the view. That's how React knows that there's something different in the page. Okay, so now we're going to do contacts. And we're going to do contacts dot concat. Concat. Yes, concat, just like that. And so what we're going to do is we're going to add ID. Uh, so the ID needs to be unique for every uh, entry. So what we need to do is access the contacts uh, array over here. So remember that at this point, uh, the data is going to have the first three and uh, we have ID one, two, and three over here. So what we actually need to do is we need to um, take the last ID, the element, the last ID of the element and then add one so that it doesn't repeat, right? So what we're going to be doing is um, uh, contacts and basically contacts dot length. So contacts dot length is going to return how many elements are in the array. So basically this is going to give us three because now we have three. So when we ask, and then in an array, when you have an index of zero, what we need to do is minus one. So minus one. So this is going to give us two, which is going to be the last element because it's three items, right? So if I do zero here, it's going to give me the first, second, third. So we're just writing a quick, you know, uh, algebra here to basically calculate this on the fly as we click the add button. And so what we're going to be doing now is dot ID and then plus one. So that's going to be how the ID is going to be calculated. And for the name, we're just going to be uh, using the, uh, actually, you know what? If we do something like this, const uh, new ID equals, and we're just gonna basically save this once over here. And we're gonna reuse it multiple times uh, as you'll see here. So new ID, and then here we're gonna do uh, contact, new contact, and then we're gonna use the, uh, the, 
JavaScript templating here to uh, call you know the number over here just like that. So here we're going to do a new ID. All right. And then now we're going to do email. So the email is going to be new ID at example.com. So I'm just going to paste this over here. All right. So this should work. Let's try it out. Um, fingers crossed. Everything should be okay. It looks good. Why is this complaining? Aha, all good. Okay, so it's this is probably complaining because it's the, the length of the line is too long. So what I'm gonna do is just uh, enter this down to clean this up just a tad. All right. Okay, so let's try this out. So I'm gonna head over into the browser over here and I'm gonna do a reload real quick. Everything still works. Add, new contact. New contact five, six, seven, eight, nine, and so on. So there you go. Very quickly, we're going to do a, a brief rundown again. I know a lot happened in this episode. Um, so first, we use the lifecycle function over here, and we're going to talk about lifecycle function later on. Um, you know, in in the next episodes. And so, if you haven't become a member, do become a member because we're going to cover a lot more concepts uh, in the future episodes, and they're only going to be available uh, to our members who pay. Uh, so check that out. So yeah, uh, so the lifecycle function in this case is it's basically setting the initial data. Um, so you know, you could think of this as like the, the right place to even set, like, for example, if you're loading a component that's loading the data from an API, a remote data source, you could use a, the this component will mount to run the Ajax function that fills up the data. Uh, you could do that over here. So the add contact function, what we did was we set the contacts over here to what it is at the current state before. So once we click it, it's gonna set it to the state before it's been it's been changed. And then basically we're going to concat the new item into here. And so this part here is what's uh, concatting the new item. And this one here is just basically we're setting the ID dynamically as we click add. That's why the number is counting up. So in this case here, we can just remove the console.log now. Everything should work. Let's just reload it once more and then basically do add contact again and you can see everything is still working. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up for this episode. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and become a member uh, to support our channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one.